Amber Gill and Jake Cornish are seemingly involved in the latest Love Island drama. Winner of the fifth ITV2 series, Amber appeared to throw shade at Jack's post-villa hustle flogging garden furniture in a fiery Twitter exchange. Jake, who left the hit ITV dating show just days before the final alongside Liberty Pool, seemed to reference Amber in a post about the new series of SAS, Who Dares Wins. Loving this SAS who dares win with a certain someone getting beasted, he said. He appeared on the seventh series of Love Island last year and broke things off with Liberty before the show's final, despite the pair being in the running to win. Since leaving the villa he launched The Rat and Man, a company selling garden furniture such as outdoor tables and chairs. Seeing his tweet about SAS, Amber, who is appearing on the show, has seemingly fired back. I was getting paid while you were Chuck's notes selling garden furniture. Glad you're tuning in though to watch me do something nobody is asking you to do, she said. One fan replied, I think I know who this sub is for. Tell him. Although not everyone agrees with Amber's message, with one saying that it is offensive to those in a similar industry to Jake's business. One follower said, Imagine being a mental health ambassador, coming from a show where people have taken their own lives, to now publicly slagging not just an individual but anyone who is in that line or work. How insensitive can you get? It comes after Amber opened up about her own recent struggles with mental health. The 25-year-old, who won the dating show alongside Greg O'Shea in 2019 is well known for her honesty, which has again proven to be the case when discussing her state of mind. The Newcastle-born star claims fame and social media can often get the better of her and revealed the motivation behind her forthcoming television role. Ahead of her appearance on SAS, she told OK. I wanted to prove to myself because I don't think I've ever been tested. My job is relatively nice to do and so I wanted to prove I was resilient. Before I went in, I wasn't in a very good mental headspace and that was the tipping scale on whether I should do it or not. I'm so glad I did because it kickstarted me getting into a better headspace. She continued, I believe in myself to the very end to do everything, but before this experience, I really lost that and I lost my way a little bit, so I was in two minds whether to do it or not, but then I did it, and when I came out of the other side, I was completely different. Read more latest showbiz stories Danielle Lloyd trying for sixth baby. Did Harry Styles really spit on Grey? Harry Styles fans convinced Dave. Harry Styles left Chris Pine scream, 